vloggy vlog. Happy New Year, you guys. I moved. What color do you think I should get? Uh. I was introduced to this vacuum from TikTok. I'm not gonna lie, I was. But I am so happy I got to see my baby. I am so happy, you guys. I think I want this to be a day in the life. Like, I'm gonna edit this tonight. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. I know it's been a minute and I have a whole bunch of explanations to do. We're gonna get through all of that. Happy New Year. Today is February 8th. It is Thursday. I am currently getting ready to go get my nails done. It is time for maintenance. Um, Valentine's Day is next week. Not even that that has anything to do why, with why I'm getting maintenance. This is just my regular maintenance. But Valentine's Day is coming up. So I am wanting to feel real girly, real pretty, real beautiful, um, and just feel all the love vibes. So yeah, Cyrus wants to say hello. He probably actually doesn't want to say hello, but we're gonna let him say hello. Good morning. I am getting ready to brush my teeth. It's 9 a.m. you guys. I have so much to talk to you guys about. It is ridiculous. Like I don't even know where to start. Like I'm still, so my, it's the morning time. Um, I'm getting ready to go. Like I still have to get my daily stuff done. But when I say I was so excited to get on the camera, you guys, if you guys can tell, um, it's different. Like if you guys are returning subscribers, if you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Tammy Nicole. I'm your new bestie, hoping to be your new bestie. But if you're new, stay, subscribe, press the subscribe button. But if you're, you know, one of the girls, hey guys, I moved. I moved. I have a whole moving vlog that I still have to edit. Um, I... I still need to edit it, but I don't want to release it. I don't know why. I just feel like the time that I took off of being on YouTube, I was fasting. Like, I wasn't on social media. I wasn't doing anything. So, all of my content that I had taken, like, I was recording for you guys, but I honestly was, like, genuinely... I honestly was genuinely not trying to do any kind of video form content, anything. Like, I was really just not doing it at all so like i feel like the content is really like choppy um you guys would have still gotten to see like my move and everything but i don't know i personally just don't feel like the content was something that i wanted to come back on the new year with so if you guys want to see it put it in the comments below and i will make time to edit it it will be a moving vlog um if you guys are curious about my move and my experience so far um but i'm loving it i actually had i had started looking for my apartment actually in 2023 i was vlogging but i didn't tell you guys because i didn't want it to be public information at the time um because it was just during a time where i was like if i'm doing this like i was really in prayer about it like lord like if this is in your will like make this happen for me and so i literally came here it was raining outside um i came here and i got information from the leasing agent and literally applied like two days later and I got approved literally the day that I applied within like three hours. And the night before I was like in prayer and I was just like talking to God, like Lord, like and getting into my scripture and saying like, this is what your word says. Like as far as like me petitioning and asking you for certain things. And so I prayed about it, God confirmed it, they approved me and I moved into my apartment. Um, I am still currently furnishing. I feel like the last time I got my apartment I rushed everything like I rushed it so bad that it was like I had furniture that I looked up six months later and I'm like why did I get this couch like why did I get it and I think I had got it at the time because it was like I was like 20 22 21 22 um like I just wanted to have a couch <laughs> I think I got it from like Amazon or something that mess was so small and like it, it got the job done but it was it was small you guys and I feel like my first apartment that I had, 
if you guys don't know, this is not my first apartment. I have lived in a different apartment um, before. Um, and my first apartment that I had, it was like my like my younger girl, my hot girl season when I had that apartment. Like I wasn't like being fast or being bad, but like if y'all know my story, like there was some stuff that went on in that apartment and we're not going to get into it now, but like I feel like this one with this one, like I am wanting i more feel like this is like my grown woman apartment you guys like like this is the apartment that i could potentially like be getting engaged in and getting married in and potentially having my first kid in like there's so many potentials of course i don't know god's plan so i'm not gonna just like say like oh yeah that's in god's plan for that to happen but like i'm not against it but like you know of course i want my house and stuff like that but i am just so in a good headspace you guys and i'm happy that i'm finally able to get back on the camera and that i'm in a clear headspace january was like the enemy like when you're fasting let me just say this when you're fasting the enemy is coming after you 10 times harder because he knows that you're really trying to connect with the lord and so he's gonna throw everything at you like you guys there was so much so much that happened you guys and like, this is why I want to post the moving vlog, like once you guys see this, because then you guys will kind of get the context of everything. But when I say like, there was so much stuff just going on with like my move, like I moved in and I promise you, you guys, like it, just, it felt like they like rushed me in here. Now, mind you, I signed my lease during Christmas time. It was Christmas time. And I got the lowest rate that I could possibly get. Like that rate was low. Like I'm paying here what I used to pay like back in the day when I had my last apartment. And that's like unheard of now. That's why I hadn't moved because rates were super hot. And then the, my rate went, was really low. So if you guys are trying to rent, rent during Christmas time because nobody's renting during Christmas time because everyone's Christmas shopping. So they want to get their quote and they want to lease. So that's the tip that I will give you as far as renting. So I signed my lease in December and I moved in January 10th. Like I moved in 21 days after I signed my lease, which means that they had all that time to get this apartment together. Like this apartment was not in the shape that I needed it to be when I moved in. Now, mind you, I did view it when i came and i looked at it before i signed the lease but it was just like stuff that like you would never think to check well maybe some people think to check it but it was just a whole bunch of stuff going on and i was like okay whatever like thank god like i moved in on a wednesday i didn't move in my furniture till saturday and yeah it was just a whole thing so i just have so much to talk to you guys about and i feel like it'll come up um, probably throughout this vlog as I remember because I feel like I'm like catching up with my homegirls right now like <laughs> I'm catching you guys up to speed so I just um I'm just grateful you guys and I'm in a really clear headspace I feel like when I, I had got back on social media January 21st so as soon as the new year hit I deleted my Instagram I deleted my TikTok I deleted any type of social media that I use, I deleted all of the apps, even Facebook. Like I can't even get back into my Facebook right now because I deleted it, <laughs> but I'll get back into it soon because yeah, but I don't be on Facebook like that. So it don't matter, it really don't matter. But um, I logged back into social media on January 21st and it felt weird. <laughs> it felt so weird, you guys. Like from being like in a place where you're not in contact with the outside world and like you're kind of just like focused on you you're not being influenced by what other people are doing like you're not being like like you just don't know you don't know what other people's lives are going on and you realize like oh wow like everything I'm doing right now is really just me and how I live my life and it's not influenced by um how I see someone else living their life or what I see someone else doing so um it definitely was like wow like i really be using filters on instagram like i really be like like it's just two different worlds like from reality to like social media like they're two different realms 
two different worlds like I'm not that girl like that girl you see on Instagram like that's me but that's like Instagram me that's like my Instagram personality like I don't know how to make it make sense but like Instagram is real but it's not social media is real but it's not like we get to pick and choose what y'all see I get to pick and choose what I tell y'all about my business okay so like you know like social media is what people make it and that's why it's important to have those content creators at least for me that I felt like were real like I think for me like I always want to be real with you guys and I always want to be honest about my experiences and the things that I'm going through yeah <sighs> I think my man is on his way here right now I'm about to go get my nails done but I'm waiting for him to get here because he asked me like what I was doing before I went to go to my nail appointment so I'm waiting on him um I don't know where the heck he's at you guys even my man was like babe we haven't vlogged in a minute and mind you like me and him like we vlog like on camera without like posting it oh let me show you guys my apartment real quick we're not fully furnished I'm getting my couch probably this weekend this is my living room it's empty there's nothing in here just my plant my plant was pissed when I got here she was pissed off you guys like when I say she almost, <laughs> she was almost up out of there, but she's coming back. She has little baby leaves growing out of her. So she's feeling real good, real cute. And we're just not gonna touch her. We just haven't been touching her because she doesn't wanna be touched right now. And she just wants to figure out where the heck she's at. Like, as you guys can see this little, this one's dead. It's still hanging on. But I think she's trying to figure out how to get rid of it without breaking the rest of herself off so yeah i don't know we're gonna let her buy have to get this kitchen together because like i said my man is about to stop by and not that i mm, how do i make it make sense not that i care about him seeing my spot like not clean because well not not clean it's not like dirty but it's just like i have dishes in the sink i got my juicer y'all we've been juicing we're about to give you y'all are gonna get some juicing content later today because yeah we've been juicing y'all so i would give you guys a tour right now but like i said um, i'm trying to tidy up so we will do that later but this is my kitchen view this will be your guys's new like view when we're talking and hanging out you guys, can I just say how much of a blessing it has been to have my own kitchen? Like, I didn't even realize, like, I love my house. Like, let me, let me, okay, let's, let's, I don't know if this is an elephant in the room, but let me just get this straight. Like, my place that I was living at prior to being, like, on the vlog prior to moving, I still have that place. That's my house. Like, that's my house. But, like, you know. I just, it was time, I was ready like to be on my own and really just like focusing on like Tamron as a grown woman and focusing on like what are, you know, how do I live and like also like training myself like I want to be a wife, like I want to be a mom, like I have to really be like in the headspace of knowing how to care for a home, like I already know how to care for a home but like my own home and and this has been helping me with that a lot so i'm really grateful about my mood and i'm really excited for what the future has in store but yeah you guys i just don't i don't know i would definitely highly recommend like if you can't afford it and you need to be like wise with your money like just focus your own spot of course if you can't afford it just live with your family like do it like you know do what's best for you and your finances at the end of the day. I made chicken last night, guys. It was so good. Like, when I say homemade chicken, like baked chicken, it's so much better. And it's just like, you know what's in it. It's not overly salted. It's not under salted. I just thought about it. I might, I might introduce you guys I might introduce you guys to my man today, you guys. As I was trying to get to know him and as we were like just in newly like dating, then it was like, I'm gonna keep this to myself. 
But I definitely am ready to be like open about who he is and letting you guys see him so that we can just comfortably just vlog and do whatever. So, yeah. I've been kind of like back and forth as to whether I want to do like a lot of relationship content. Like I was watching the views. I was watching my views, y'all. And the vlogs that I had where it was like about like me and my relationship, they didn't get the most views. And so I'm like, okay, like maybe the girlies aren't really here to like know about my relationship. And that's fine by me. Like that's fine. Cause like, I don't plan on like, including you guys into like a lot of our stuff. Like I want you guys to like know that we are together and who we is and to see us in a relationship. But it's like, you know, like we're still dating. Like we're still getting to know each other. So yeah. But I want to bring you guys like, I want to like, my biggest thing is I want to be transparent with you guys. And I feel like me being fully transparent is me just being fully open about my relationship and my thing about it is like let me just say this I have very high hopes in my relationship I trust my man I believe that God sent me this man because he is my husband and that's my husband that's my future husband like that's just what it is yeah I just want to like I don't want to overshare but I don't want to like not share because that's like a, a big part of my life now ah, okay moving on moving on I don't want to be that annoying girl that's always talking about relationship okay so we're letting these dishes soak you guys i want to show you guys what i got for the girls for valentine's day we are gonna have a galentine's day get together and i want to give them a gift like i'm gonna write them a hand heartfelt letter i'm gonna write it to them but i wanted to give them some gummy bears so i got these from rite aid I was going to get my memory card and then I saw these at Rite Aid. I was like, I'm gonna get them. But I had also seen these at Rite Aid as well. They're chocolate roses. And I know it's pretty basic, like chocolate roses, but I, what I want to do is like take it out the plastic and like hand it to them with their card wrapped around a rose. And then I'm going to also take these gummy bears, um, these gummy bears, let's see how they're packaged. I can just open them right now because it's not like, it comes with 25 bags. So if you guys have kids that are giving out Valentine's Day um, candy grams, then this will be good. I think it just has the gummy bears in them, yeah. I'm like trying to see if the gummy bears were like shaped like hearts or something, but they're not. They're just gummy bears. They give you the red ones and the clear ones, which are the best flavors to, in my opinion. Um, and then they have a green one as well that I like, but the green one's not in here. So yeah, it doesn't come with cards. So I think I'm, I'm probably gonna give, it comes with 25 bags. So if I give them two each, two bags each with their card. I could even give them three because that's only 18 bags. And I could give the rest to my nieces and nephews. So I'm gonna give them three gummy bear bags. I'll probably take them together and then tape them onto their card. And then they'll have their rows as well. So yeah, guys. You know, you gotta show your girls. Like, I asked God for friends and he gave them to me. So I'm gonna show them some love. Okay, so I don't know where he's at. I need to figure out, where's my phone? I have no clue where this man is at. Okay guys, so I still have to make my bed. You guys, my bed is a mess right now. My bed is a mess right now. I'm gonna give you guys all of the like information as far as where I got my stuff from, where I got my bed from. Ordered my bed frame on Amazon. It has a little charger port at the top, which I love, but I also like don't like it either because as you can see, like my cord is kind of hanging off the bed. Yeah, I don't like that because I'd be sleeping on the cord and then it just, it pulls, it tugs, it just messes up the cord. I don't like that. So, 
Yeah. Okay, so I'm looking at I'm looking at my boyfriend's location right now and he still hasn't left work. So I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna wait much longer for him. I get to see him later because I gotta get my nails done. I hate going to the nail salon later in the day. Like I like to just get there and you know get my nails done and get out. Like I don't like being there all day long. So I think I'm gonna do my laundry when I get back because I really just wanna get going. So we're gonna go get ready to go. Ready is not coming. We are headed out. I need to throw some of this trash out of my car. You guys, we're back on camera in the car. It's been so long. I'm gonna put some of this trash in this trash bag so my car stays clean. Oh, as clean as it can be. I still have stuff in the back seat, you guys. It's just a lot going on. And I honestly, like I'm getting it together. It's just like, when you move, like my grandma reminded me that like the most like stressful things you could do is move, get married and have a funeral. And I was just like, okay, okay. So I'm doing one of the three. So let me not stress myself out. But as you can see, I have stuff everywhere. Those were just water bottles I got from the store. So yeah, the move has been a blessing. But like, you know, if you're moving right now, be patient with yourself because you're moving. Trash back here. I could go get this car vacuumed out today, y'all. We might go to the car wash. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Fine. Sock napkins. Ooh -wee. It has been raining in California so much, and like I love it because personally, I'm just like, we need it. We need the rain. I don't even know if I need to go this way, so I'm not even gonna get. I don't feel like I should get on this freeway, but I'm gonna exit. You guys, I'm so happy to be going to get my nails done. I have not gotten my nails or my toes done since the since before Christmas. And like it's just time. Like I've been scrubbing my feet, so like my feet like actually aren't that bad i've been scrubbing and moisturizing my feet um i don't know if this is weird to say but like it took me becoming an adult to realize that like you can go get your toes done but like at home like still like be like scrubbing your feet like moisturizing your feet like you know like hydrating yourself throughout the time so that when you go to get your feet done like they're not that bad of course like them they might be a little ashy because you know it's been a minute but yeah my toes are looking horrendous well they're not looking horrendous i won't say that i won't i won't do my girls like that because they're not looking horrendous i don't think they're that bad um i had a french tip the last time so as it grew out like you couldn't even tell until like a long period of time that they were grown out so that's bad um but yeah, I waited for my boyfriend for an hour and he, he's at work, so I'm not even tripping, but I waited for an hour with my brother. I waited for an hour with my brother and you didn't come. So I'm gonna get my nails done. I will see you later. <laughs> I'm getting my nails done. And a girl cannot wait on a man's time. Listen, if you wanna find me, you know where to find me. You got my, lo you got my location, you know where I'm at, boy. I don't even know what I want to get on my nails like I kind of do want you guys I kind of want to start a journey where I'm growing out my natural nail to strengthen it so that I can start wearing my natural nails instead of wearing acrylic now personally I have no problem with acrylic guys like I want it I think it's more so just damaging to my nail beds like after a long period of time and I always have to like take a break with you know my my nails and so I think I'm more so just like 
ready to start that process and also because as you guys see i have my hair braided that horn was loud that scared me as you guys see i have my hair braided i did this because i was bored the other night and i was just doing stuff in my hair and i decided to braid my hair up it looks messy because i didn't do it with any braiding gel like i didn't put anything in my hair i just like just braided it up and did it you guys tell me why i went to dollar tree and i got the cutest stuff i got the cutest stuff from dollar tree you guys go to dollar tree i know if you guys are on tiktok or if you guys are on social media already you guys probably already know about dollar tree you guys probably already know okay go to dollar tree and get your boo some cute stuff of course if you want to go to other places like i went to rite aid to get the stuff for the girls and then i also like went to where else did i go I'm not even gonna say because I don't even remember and if I say too much he's gonna know what he gets in case he watches this so I'm not gonna say nothing, gonna say nothing. so I think I just confirmed in my head right now that I think I want this to be a day in the life like I'm gonna edit this tonight and y'all are gonna get this soon so it's gonna be a day in the life maintenance edition because I guess we're going to get maintenance done um i can get my eyebrows done as well i do need my brows done as well so nails done brows done and then i also want to go to this furniture store because i need to get my couch but i don't know what kind of couch i want so i've just been going around the different furniture stores to really like see what kind of stock they have um because i want to make sure that the couch that i get is the couch that i want because I'm not making the same mistake twice. I'm just not doing it. And I know that this couch is gonna follow me to my home. And I want it to be a couch where when I buy my home and I put my couch somewhere in my home that I actually like it and that I actually want it there. So that's that. We're gonna leave that one there. I don't really have that much else to catch you guys up on from now um, I don't even know if I'm gonna record myself getting my nails done I just don't like pulling out my camera when I'm at the spa because there's other women in there that maybe don't want to be on camera or like sometimes the nail bleeding doesn't I don't know I'm gonna try my best to get like some footage with my phone but I never pull out my camera in the spa just because I'm at the spa and I'm not I'm just not doing it I'm listening to my music and I'm like zoned out so I'm about to go have me a little spa day and I guess you guys will see when I'm going to get my nails done. Hopefully they can do my toes first so I can look up some nail inspo because I really do not know what I want on my nails. I really don't know. I do. I do know how I want my nails. We just confirmed we're getting acrylics today. We're getting acrylics today. It's been long enough. It's Valentine's Day. I need some nails on my fingers and we're going to do it. I just decided. That's just how it goes. That's how the girlies that get it, get it. Sometimes you don't know which, how you want your nails until you want them. So I kind of want to get like a soft pink vibe. I want to go very soft pink, natural, neutral. I'm like the rose pink. I don't know if I want to do round. I might want to do medium square but like kind of long but then i might do long round yeah i think that might be the vibe and then on my way to lake elsinore i'll come swing by the nail shop and see you you're gonna come into the nail salon well, i'm gonna come up over there and come see you like hey girl yeah, you better pay the tab. Why? I'm kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> ain't no way. What? How much do you think I spent at the nail salon? At least 120. Yes. I was about to say, if you say no, it's probably going to be high. Yes. So if you ever feel, feel you know, the desire. <laughs> pay for my toes or my nails one day 
you can, you should. These are my expectations as the luxury wife that you are intending on making me. <laughs> That's cute, baby. <laughs> That's cute. What? Okay, I guess I haven't asked you that question. What? What is your like dream? Like your dream? Like of a life that you would want to give to your to your wife? Like what? What would that look like? Like what would you want? Every man's dream is to not to have a wife work and to take care of a wife. But realistically, in the world that we live in, I would love to do that. But well, no, I, I personally, I don't like think that. that I don't think that you could get me to not work. Yeah, no, like I have no problem taking care of my obligations and duties as a man should and supposed to. Now, if you want to go to the spa, get your nails done, and stuff like that. Okay, cool. You make your own money, no problem. No, I have no problem giving you money and saying, you know what, baby, here, this one's on me. No problem. Yeah. You know, and I'm, yeah. I think for me, I think because I know that I am high, I don't, I don't think I'm high maintenance, but I think that some of the maintenance that I prefer to have, like, it is expensive. <laughs> But my mm -hmm. thing is like I choose to do this, you know, like I think it's also I think it's also a woman's responsibility Like if she expects a man to pay for her things You better make sure you're like You doing something else cautious, that can compensate that. Not even compensation, but like being cautious of like How much is your maintenance, bro? Like you're asking like there's, there's some girls out here that are asking for $500 nails $500 nail trips and saying, oh, I need a man with money that's going to give me a $500 spa day. Girl, that is not, that's not. That's stupid. That's it's a waste of real. money. Like, ideally, I could, I could see like anniversary, like birthday, like a big holiday where it's like, we're going to drop 500 at the spa for her, for her. Like, yeah, I, I could see that. But you're asking for this, like. Like I don't know. There's some girls that go over. Like they get facials and stuff, and like, like even with my sugaring, like my sugaring is a hundred dollars. So I do leave, mm. my maintenance technically is what um, two twenty, two thirty. Two twenty, two thirty. My eyebrows are like eight dollars, like ten ten dollars because I usually tip them two dollars. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. My like even with me, you know, I wouldn't expect you to take care of. My maintenance on what I choose to do. You know oh my gosh, I mean? you just get haircuts. I'll pay for a haircut. I do not care. How much are your haircuts? Like fifty to sixty dollars, and then yeah, go see, get my hair braided. Yeah, it's like see. another fifty to sixty bucks. So. Yeah, see, I would drop you fifty. <laughs> I would drop sixty for you to get your haircut. I would. Yeah. It would be random. Like you would be telling me you're about to get your haircut, and then if I just had it to to give. I would for sure drop you 60. Yeah. You yeah, know, that, that would be your choice. It's not anything that I would require. Yeah. That would be your choice. Yeah, I don't require things of my partner. That's my choice to yeah. do. Because yeah. I'm sure if it was up to you, said girl, if you don't get some white toes and some white little nail polish, not even the gel, let them move air. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm kidding. No, I think I'm gonna get a full set today, baby. Okay. <laughs> what color do you think I should get? Uh, I'm gonna wear February. How long are you keeping up? <laughs> I usually have my nails for two weeks. Um, <laughs> I don't know, some Valentine's. Remember the Valentine's color? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Valentine. <clears throat> okay, guys. So we just got our nails done. He added a cute little heart onto my nail for Valentine's Day. My baby pulled up on me, you guys, at the nail salon. 
right now i'm at this furniture store i already went in and looked but i just i feel like they're they're taxing they're taxing up in there but then i also got a crepe but it has pickles lettuce tomato um jalapenos and banana peppers so i'm just sitting here eating it um before i get on the road i need to go to living spaces they have a living spaces outlet um not too far for me so i'm gonna drive over there to look at some couches because i want to make sure i know what couch i want before i'm ready to spend money on my couch i just got my nails done i just got to spend some time with my man he had a second before he had to go back to work so he pulled up on me at the nail salon he just sat there with me and we talked until i finished and then we went over to this ice cream spot but they also have crepes so i got this crepe and then he got a nutella banana crepe and i also got my eyebrows done so yeah we've been moving y'all completely just go the wrong way why are you pulling out with me okay we're doing this together all right at least mercedes wanted to pull it out at the exact time that i started pulling out it's okay so we're going to look for the couch you guys i have no clue what color couch i want i have no like i know that i don't want a leather couch i mean i do but i don't like leather couches are just really expensive and i'm not trying to spend leather couch money right now so my couch will be some form of fabric i personally want my couch to be from some form of fabric because i feel like leather couches they just get really hot and i just don't want that experience laying on the couch i just don't want to be sweaty but yeah i'm in the i'm still, still working right now you guys like i just this is why it's frustrating because sometimes like i have a job where like i have to work like i can go and i can do things where i'm not required to be at like physically like at my desk working but i do have to sometimes be constantly on my phone so sometimes i'll be doing something i'll be driving and it'll require something that requires me to be on my phone i'll be like bruh like i just i just don't know i just don't know but i am so happy i got to see my baby i am so happy you guys like the fact that i got to see him just makes my day so much better because i got to see my man and anyone who understands you guys understand it just gives you a spark of happiness and joy whenever you get to see your boo. Hello guys. We are home. I am cleaning up my room. I'm about to make my bed. I'm washing my bedspread. I spilled tomato soup on my bedspread. Probably because the problem is I've eaten in bed because I don't have a dining room table either yet but it's all happening in due time i found the desk and the chair that i want to have for my office but that is not like main priority right now i love when i get like dms from people on instagram like i don't i realize that there's so many people that i'm friends with on instagram whose personal phone numbers i don't have so there were a lot of people that i connect with on instagram i need to turn this tv down there's a lot of people on instagram that i connect with that i don't have their personal numbers to and i hate that because i i literally had so many people that i wanted to be in contact with when i was like not on instagram and I thought about you guys. Um, the girls who know, know. Um, well, actually, I don't even know if I've told you guys. Maybe I sh should communicate that to you guys. So the girls that know, know, because I'm gonna tell you guys. I feel like I just did like a quick little snippet of the nails, but I didn't. <laughs> Want me to do all that? Want me to do all that? Okay. <laughs> so I want to show you guys the nails. This is what they look like. Let's see if I can get a little bit of the sun. You guys, the lighting in my room is so fire at certain times of the day when this before, like while the sun is going down. So these are the nails. Um, I like them. 
I think they're giving very natural neutral um, I was not expecting to get this big old heart on my finger I'm not gonna lie to you um, I wanted it to be smaller I had asked the nail tech to do like a small like 3d flower he said he could do it and then when he tried to do it he couldn't do it so he put this thing on me but I love it I think it's so cute I think that for what I had to get it's gonna have to do um, for now and yeah so I'm about to get this did you want to look at? No. No, I don't. Okay. So I think I found the couch that I want, you guys. I think I found the couch that I want. I am like debating on whether I want to get couches that are separate or whether I want to get a sectional couch. I just really don't know. I feel like well, the sectional couch, they're cheaper, but you can only do so much with them. Like, you can only put them in a certain, like, place. Like, you can't move it around at all, pretty much. And so, I'm just like, I don't know if I exactly want to do that. But I want to do, like, I also want to get this couch that separates. And I feel like... I need to get a rug for this bed because it's always sliding. You guys, I love my bed, but I will say I do have to use the lint roller a lot because Cyrus likes to sleep up here and they just be hair everywhere. Like everywhere. All on the thing. And you can see it. Watch out. So I have to get a lint roller and do it. This bed frame is like velvety. Okay, cool. So while my comforter is getting washed, my chocolate and water in the bed. You guys, I'm on my cycle, you guys. So we're cleansing right now. We're cleansing, clearing out. And I'm starting to feel like myself again, you guys. Like. Ooh, when I was on my cycle, well, when I was about to start my cycle, I was so emotional. I think I cried like three times <laughs> in the week. And like, I haven't been crying a lot lately. Like tears have not been flowing from my face. So it was really, I was having an emotional time. And yeah, man. So. I need to find an iPhone charger, you guys. I have not used an iPhone. I have one in the car. I gotta go get the iPhone charger out of the car. I just don't want to right now. I don't really need to right now, but I will later. Yeah, so we're just cleaning the room right now, you guys. Like, I, I am being intentional on cleaning up my room daily daily listen i personally just don't have time for a, a, a cluttered mess i just don't have time for it right now and i try my best to just keep my house clean so that when i do have guests over or if I want to invite someone over, I don't have to worry about, oh, I need to clean my house. Like, no, stay ready. You don't gotta get ready. Let me show you guys. I need to show you guys my new vacuum. We're gonna come in here for a little bit, okay. I need to show you guys my new vacuum. Okay, so I got this vacuum on Amazon. It's by Homika. I was introduced to this vacuum from TikTok. I'm not gonna lie, I was. It's a real product and it's quality and it's good. So this is the vacuum. I put it together. The instructions were easy for me. Um, I will say that when you have to put this adjustment on, you just have to twist it. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it right now. You have to twist it. If you get this, you have to twist it, okay? Um, and then the thing will expand. What I love about this is that when you turn it on, it says the percentage of the battery. So right now it's at 88% and it has the highest mode. <laughs> so 
This is the vacuum that I got. Uh, this color was just the cheapest option, which I actually thought was cute because I thought it gave like feminine while still giving masculine. Like it, it seems like a very gender neutral vacuum. Um, they have like a baby pink one. So, those, so shout out to the pink girlies, they have a baby pink one. But this, this thing right here, I just walk it around and then this charger comes off. You just press this button and you just plug this into the wall. So it's at 88%. I'll probably just put it on the charger when I am done vacuuming just so that this charger, the battery can stay full because I vacuum mine on high. When you vacuum it on high, it takes up more battery. And so, you know, if it's at 40 by the time I'm done, that's fine. I'm gonna put it on the charger. So yeah, we're gonna vacuum and I'm probably gonna listen to some music and just vibe and tidy up my house. So. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are opening up the blinds. It's time to wake up, man. Good morning, vloggy vlog. Today is Friday, February 9th. It is 8.13 in the morning. I just went and looked at my gym for the first time and I think I want to work out today so I'm going to transfer some of these files off of this memory card onto my computer and then we'll be back <laughs> <laughs> 